and everybody gets a bleed. You get a bleed, and you get a bleed, and you get a bleed. Welcome back, everybody, to 79 Alpha 2191. I'm an old guy gaming. This is the Dead is Dead series. And we're about to take on Horde Night 7 here in the church. Uh, so if you didn't catch the last episode, we set up this little horde defense here in uh, the church down the street. And I did end up uh, putting full blocks all the way around through the raptors because it appeared to me that the horde was not able to path along the raptors that existed in the church itself. Uh, so hopefully the blood moon will be smart enough this time uh, to figure that out and get to us. Uh, but it looks like, okay, so we got a couple in the church there. Why are they not following the path? I don't get it. They should be going up the ladder that I set over there and coming along through here. There's some reason they're not doing that. I don't understand. What is it that is preventing them from coming along this path here. That doesn't make sense to me at all. They should come up that ladder right there and come over here. What is wrong for you guys? Okay. Is Tom... Yeah, okay. Now they're coming up. Okay, let's come on back this way. Oh shit! Just like right there. Gotta get this. Yeah, I gotta get that up. Okay. Now they're coming. We just had to give them a little bit of encouragement. That's all it was. Everybody gets a bleed. You get a bleed. And you get a bleed. And you get a bleed. Stamina back here. Here, drop to the floor. Okay. <laughs> okay. They're still not like pathing like they should be, though. That is just bizarre, man. I d I don't know why. That doesn't make sense to me. Hmm. Why are they like hung up over there when they know they can come this way? It's almost like they detect a a, a, a better path. You know, that, like the AI thinks that there's a better path to me. Which makes me a little bit nervous, because is there a better path? Are they, like, going to try and go up this, up onto the roof? They are trying to go up on the roof. Hmm. Okay, that's a bit of a problem. We do have our fallback up here, but that's not what I was planning on doing for the night. I didn't, uh, I didn't think they could, uh, that there was a, a, a way for them to get through on that side. I never even looked at that. Okay, well, um, I guess we're going to be fighting them from here because obviously we can't fight them from our usual spot. This is the last time I use a church for a frickin' horde night, man. I should have known better. God's punishing me. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, we'll just, uh, we'll do what we can here. I mean, you know, the most important thing is that we survive. So, yeah. <laughs> We're not going to get a whole shit ton of XP or anything like that. That's for sure.
Okay, we got a skill point. That'll suck. Um, yeah, we'll worry about that later. Let's just uh, stay on task here. Down to 57 arrows. But we've managed to kill, you know, a few of them. I'd like to try this base again on 14 if we survive that long. Um, yeah, but I'm just going to have to, you know, take steps to make sure that I can't get on the frickin' roof. Because I just wasn't expecting them to go to that side, you know. the last Molotov. We, uh, we got as many of them as we could with it. I got some pipe bombs, but I'm afraid if I throw them down there, they're just going to roll off the roof. He did. Well, all I can say is it's a good thing we had a fallback to our fallback because it's the fallback to the fallback that's actually saved our ass here. <laughs> our first fallback was just to get on the roof, but yeah, like, that wasn't going to work so well. Can we, like, cook this? Oh! I think we cooked it a little too long there. <laughs> Damn, that was close. Jeez Louise. Okay. Let's try this again. Uh, no, I didn't cook that one. Okay, cook this one. Alright, that helped a little bit. There we go. That one kind of hit me a little bit again, though, too. So, that's a bit risky. I mean, if we kill ourselves, that counts for... Um, Game over, you know. So we need to be a little more careful here. Oh, jeez. Okay. Okay, let's try this again. We got one of them. Well, we got the leg of one of them. Something blew up over there. My car, probably. Hey, we got some 762s back. Nice. He did. We got two skill points. Is Nurse Nancy our last? No, she's not the last one. We got two more to go here. Let's take another bat um, bandage. And let's also... Do we get health? Yeah, we get seven health from that. We get uh, 18 health from that. So let's eat the bacon and eggs. Got some red tea as well. These could potentially be our last two contestants here. Okay, she did. Come after me. We 
What are you doing, lady? Move my arrows back. Okay. <laughs> Look at all the arrows sticking in the roof here. Let's pick those all up. That's funny. That's funny. Um, all right. So I guess, um, I guess that's it. Then I heard a Zeke over that way. So is this like a secret room? It is a secret room. Well, for goodness sakes. Look at that. See, I told you we would find a structural brace mod. And I was right. A secret room. How in the hell were we supposed to ever know that this was here? I don't know. But we need to make it go away. Uh, so that we can try this again on Horde Night 14. Because I think this base will work great. We just have to make sure... Well, actually, I don't know if it'll work great because... And yeah, we got a wall there. Um, They still didn't seem to path to us until I kind of had to draw them over. So I don't know, man. I, what I don't understand, though, is that, that that should be a very clear, easy to follow unconfusing path for the AI, but they still seem to have problems with it, so I don't know. Okay, well, what I'm going to do is um, spend the rest of the night uh, breaking this out so they can't come this way. And then, um, well, you know, maybe I'm, I'm approaching this the wrong way. Maybe what we should do is Make it so this is the only path they can go to us. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to actually bust this ceiling out. All right, guys. Well, I'll see you in the morning, and then we'll kind of figure out what our next move is, I guess. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and do this next job here and see what we get. So this is a clear... Start it right there. Check the mailbox again. And we got ourselves aiming from the hip with greater accuracy. You can save your ass in close quarters. I always like to save my ass in close quarters. It's a good thing to do that, you know, in case you guys uh, weren't aware of that. All right, let's take that. Where do you want us to go in at? Let's go look around the back here. Any dogs back here? Nope. Okay. Um. What about this door? That door's locked too. That door's locked. That door's locked. In through here. Okay, let's do this. I see a construction worker. He did. Another red dot. Get this out of the way. He did too. Okay, let's move into here. This is a clear quest. Let's see what's in the desk. A coat that we can sell. Nice. Okay. We'll pick up that to scrap it. We'll grab these and grab this. Get a little bit of water out of there.
I see a Steve over in the corner there. He did. And a business guy whose head we can't get to from over here. Maybe we can get to it from this side. Let's make sure there's nobody in the kitchen, though, that'll sneak up behind us first. Probably not, because I'm not seeing any red dots over this way. Okay, let's close that door. Here's a headshot. Man, we are just kicking the shit out of these guys. Okay, let's drop a couple things. We're encumbered here. pretty good shape on bones. We'll scrap these nails. And uh, we don't need sandwiches anymore. And we don't need paper or we can turn this one feather into another iron arrow. All right, we're good. Let's do this. There's somebody in here somewhere. The red dot shows over here. Creepy crawly. Whoa, look at you, guy. How about if we actually shoot him? There we go. Okay, he did. That door's locked. That door is unlocked. Check this. Nice. I don't think I've been in this POI before. Oh shit. I'll say it, but I don't think I have any lockpicks on me, do I? Doesn't look like it. Another football helmet. Getting a couple of sweatshirts there and some uh, overalls. Okay, let's ditch this and this. This we're just going to scrap because I don't want to burn a repair kit on it. These are worth 12. Um, this one's better for cold. Yeah, let's, let's just scrap that to save this space. I'm going to take the tuner right now also. And uh, let's keep the aloe. Okay. There's a foot right there. Business guy. Another red dot. 
somebody probably either up above or sitting up there. Let's check this. There's a couple lock picks, and we got somebody's attention. Ronnie McDonnie. Shoot you in the nuts. And in the face. Are you stuck in the floor, man? <laughs> I think he's stuck underneath the, the floor. How funny. Okay, well. We're going to have to kill him because this is a, a clear quest. Okay, he did. He did. What do we get? Wood from this? Yeah. Not a bunch, though. All right, here we go. Getting close to the end here. See what's in this trash. Five pipes. Yeah, I definitely have not been in this POI before. Or if I have, I totally don't remember it. I see three dots. Are they going to like pop out of a wall somewhere? Probably. In the noggin. Oh, my arrow's back. Okay, where's this other asshole? Oh, he's trying to get through the door there. Come over here, Ronnie McDonnie. All right, you can stay right there. Oh shit. Eat an arrow. He did. All right, one red dot to go. Not necessarily the last one of the bunch though because it's not yellow. Hey! Cheater! Who else is over here? What's going on? Oh, you were going on. You too. Okay. No, no. Get down quick. Oh shit. Woohoo. Oh shit, there's a biker over there. I'd rather not mess with the biker. Man, tough son of a bitch. Got him. Okay. Let's put these down here and we're going to ditch this and this. We're going to turn these into scrap because we can make pipes back at the base easily enough. We'll turn that into scrap and that unencumbers us. So that's where we were heading to. Oh, you know what? Maybe I do recognize this house. It's just a little different than it used to be. We've got a new company here. You 
coming this way? Oh shit! <laughs> okay, well, so much for being afraid of the biker. Hey! Where'd you come from? Alright. Not taking any chances because we are damn near almost dead. Whew, that was close. Okay, let's take one of these. And we'll chase it with a couple of these. We are infected, but we have stuff to take care of that back at the base. And there's another Zombo somewhere around. But we may not have to worry about him right at the moment. So let's go up here. Okay. And this should be the loot room. Okay, so we're getting the fat loot. Uh, that's nice. Let's eat that. That's some better armor than what we have and some nine mils. We'll learn that. Come on, give me seven six twos. Oh man, those are not seven six twos. Damage him. Okay, we'll take that. Uh, we don't really need to eat right now, so we'll save that. We got another biker down there. What's up with the bikers? Okay, so uh, if we go down this way, yeah, let's just go down this way. All right, Bob, give us something good. Something you like. Here is your reward. I owe you one. That's pretty damn good. I think we're going to take that. Hunting rifle. Level 2. Better than the pipe uh, rifle that we have. Next job. Uh, this one is the closest. It's a fetch. I have a task at the for you, appliance friend. company. I can't thank you enough. All right. Do I have anything to sell to you, man? Yeah, this. I'm going to hang on to those two to see what I currently have. Um, Because... See, I have one of these back at the base, so let's sell that one. I thank you, kind sir. Um, because I want to, I want to have some cold weather clothing since we're pretty close to the, the snow biome. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we were gonna sell those. We'll sell this. Uh, the cash, and I think that's it. I think we're gonna hang on to everything else. All right, now, do we have enough money to buy that baseball bat that you got? Uh, we do. Okay, there we go. Look at that, man. We now have a baseball bat. I wouldn't mind getting this wooden bow either, but we're going to have to do a few more jobs to earn that much money. But that would actually be a very nice Peace bow. Be with you, my Let's friend. see, you reset on day 10. Thanks anyways. You be careful So, yeah, we, we could potentially earn enough money to buy that, um, buy that thing. We'll just have to see how things go. Uh, this only has one mod slot, right? Uh, no, it's got two. Beautiful. Okay, so we're going to put... Uh, wait a second. I don't think we can put that on there. We could... What do we have on here now? The flashlight? Now nah, we don't need that now that we have the helmet light. Well, actually, we can put two on there. Okay, so let's put that on there. Um, we're going to take the scope off of here and put it on the hunting rifle. And, um, didn't I, oh, wait a minute. I don't think I can put those spikes on here. Well, maybe we can. I don't know. Let's run back to the base and see. Okay, so we have this in here. Modify. Shit. Okay. Oh, no, those are parts. I'm, uh, okay. I was thought that that was a spike mod. My bad. Okay, well, in that case, um, let's take the this off of here and put it onto here. So right now we do 22 regular, 42 heavy. And that bumps it up by two points on both. Plus this gives us, what does this do? Oh, that gives us health if, our, if we drop below 50%, which isn't bad. Uh, okay, so... Can we put 
this also on the club? I think we can. Oh, beautiful. Okay. Nice. There we go. All right, guys. We got ourselves a modded baseball bat. And um, that should uh, go well for us. In fact, do we have any points? We do. We got three points. My goodness. Okay, so we're going to put another point into pummel. Well, before we do that, we're going to have to put another point into strength. Then we can... Wait a minute. What the hell? Strength level five? Seriously? Well, I guess we already have two points in there. Okay, yeah, I get, I get it. Okay. Um, now we can put one into pummel. There we go. So we are now in the big leagues. We are in the big leagues. That's amazing. All right, guys. Well, that is it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, we will... I'll probably just uh, stop this episode or, yeah, stop the recording and start, we'll start right back up and we'll go ahead and do the next job in the next episode. We also want to take one of these. Uh, let's take a honey because we still have plenty of time to get rid of that. And I don't have a normal bandage to deal with the abrasion, so I guess we're going to have to let that one just kind of wear off. All right, so, yeah, with that being said, thanks, everybody, for watching. hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video. We'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.